Hello everyone, my name is Pavan and I welcome you all towards my channel. So guys, today we'll be learning about two important kind of theories of jurisprudence. First one that is basically about theories of rights. One we have about will theory and second one we do have about interest theory. So in will theory, if I tell in a very simple way, you know, I have a certain kind of will and I have complete rights to make sure that I impose this will on an other person. Didn't understand, right? Very simple. I'll repeat it once again. I'll give you an example. See, for example, I have a property. In that property, I'm hiring different kind of employees. So in these employees, I am imposing my will to them in which I'm telling them to do their own kind of work, force in that particular thing. So in which when one person is basically, if you observe that, observe Holenka definition, you know, you can understand that it is a right, a capacity residing in a person to control the actions of others. So in my right, in my capacity, I'm making an other person to do something based on my will and my own imposition to other person that is basically known as will theory. So this is basic understanding which you can understand. But while writing an answer for an exam perspective, you can start with Holenka definition. It's like a capacity residing in a person to control the action of others. And then you can continue with according to this theory, having the right to something means that you have control over the power over others free will in regard to it. Now I have complete rights to control others free will because here who's the owner? I am the owner and what I am going to take the call that is going to be final. I hope you guys understood about will theory. So now let's learn about second type of interest uh, theory that was about interest theory. So if I tell you a little more crux, you know, it was basically propounded by great jurists like Salmon, Ehring, Allen and uh, Buckland. So now if I try to help you to understand in a very simpler way, you know, that means that every individual is being enshrined with his or her kind of interest, right? You will understand, right? I'll make it a little more simpler. That means that every individual has a set of rights. For example, I am power. I have fundamental rights. Now that is my interest and that is for my own welfare, right? This fundamental rights is basically given to me. Now who has a duty to protect it? Who has the duty to protect it? It is the state. The state has a duty to protect it because I am receiving the fundamental rights. If state is curtailing on my fundamental rights, can my interest be uplifted? No. If state is constantly violating in terms of different factors, then your fundamental rights is basically provocated over there. That means that your fundamental rights cannot be uplifted. So fundamental rights could be the best example for you to understand. So how my interest should be protected? Because those are the rights which I have by myself. That's major thing about interest theory. So guys, now you got a clarity about will theory and interest theory. So that's all guys for today's video. If you do like this video, please do like, share and subscribe and wish you all the best. Good luck.